Hello there, what's up YouTubers? I know I haven't been filming any video you using this um, you know, Canon G7X PowerShot, the second generation. Um, yeah, it was pretty much due to my own la laziness, you know, it's quite re reluctant um, when it comes to um, having to, you know, edit the video clips and the fragments over and over you know I have to import you know the video in you know stored in the memory card of this Canon G7X power shot the second um, you know I have to import the video the raw video here in the memory card to my computer and it just takes me so long so much energy and so much time and I don't actually have that that much of time to you know to do the editing over and over so for for that I sincerely and humbly beg your pardon so if you guys can forgive me I sincerely and humbly beg your pardon for not um, having you know been using this you know this high relatively high you know high higher quality camera to film any video you know for quite some time um you know so for that i sincerely and humbly beg your pardon so yeah back to the main topic for this video i just like to you know you know do a bit of a confession by you know by sharing and uh, you know a analyzing my thoughts about calvinism would you guys out there um so if you in so should you be interested or willing to listen here i am so yeah i just like to talk about you know so so in this video i just like to talk talk about my thoughts um you know one of the principles of calvinism named total depravity yeah so it pretty much means uh, total inability to you know to do good to turn to god to repent in you know in you know um and uh you know just um so so it pretty much i suppose such principle of Cal calvinism or calvinists denotes uh the inability of uh any sincere and genuine good deeds or even good thoughts and mindsets from or benevolent mindsets and thoughts um instigated by human beings you know so i just don't know uh if um it, it actually applies to um to such con context or anything and whatnot but um here i just like to you know t to talk about it um based on my own personal experiences you know with people with uh you know with my own thoughts with fa facing the truths and uh, a variety of tribulations and trials you know after experiencing after having experienced so much um i can't help but be begin to face begin to at least learn to face truths in instead of lying to myself and deceiving others you know for my own selfish game even even if such such deed even if so doing yield me nothing else but uh pride and arrogance and a bit of uh, self grat gratification you know i still keep doing it until pretty much today or a few days or a few weeks maybe also a few months before today but uh yeah at least at last at long last I, I managed to confess uh you know a lie i i fabricated or i conjured uh to a friend of mine to an old friend of mine actually back in australia and uh, you know i i kind of you know can consider him uh, another brother of mine from another mother yeah so yeah but uh, at least uh, and at long last i managed i've managed to confess such such sin such wrongdoing such lie publicly um 
you know, pretty much publicly to him. But uh, yeah, but in the confines, in, in the confine of a WeChat group, or I should say a, a support group, um, we, WeChat in which uh, pretty much people like like us tend to gather around, you know. So yeah, um, I suppose I I I I I mentioned such lie to you guys before, but uh, I, here I I like to mention it and confess it uh, again. Is uh, you know I you know I lied to him that I I uh, I once uh, obtained Singaporean permanent residency or Singaporean citizenship, pretty much both. Um, I lied to him and uh, I deceived him for nearly 10, 10 years just for you know just to kind of uh, make myself appear more able, more competent or more prestigious in terms of uh, uh, family background and whatnot. And yeah, so and uh, yeah, so so techni technically speaking, yeah, I'm still a uh, uh, chink. You know, a Chinese dude <laughs> with, uh, of course, Chinese passport. Of course, first language being Mandarin Chinese. Do I? Do I? I've always kind of uh, con considered English my first language. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. And uh, thanks to one of my audience's um, um, honest comment, one of my audience's honest comment. Um, one of my videos in you know uh, one of my earlier videos you know on YouTube and uh, yeah she said that my you know I still you know my my accent still that doesn't sound so native as I as I initially imagined you know so yes I I, I also you know I, I I can't say I fully agree with it with such comment uh, though I still um, you know, I still have to say I can't kind of uh, agree with it since I just, you know, the flow of my speech still doesn't quite match the mindset, the mindsets, you know, the general, overall general mindsets of Aussies, of Americans, um, etc. You know, it's, uh, or even um, British, it's it's not even British, you know. But uh, in any regards, um, I beg your pardon for 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 getting the main topic of this video sidetracked again. But uh, yeah, total depra depravity. Well, the the reason why I don't agree with uh, such Calvinist Calvinism's pr principle is because I, you know, I did something. Oh, I should say, um, I, I, I accomplished, uh, uh, you know, uh, or I should say, I, I, I managed to have done something that I, 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 I did, did, did not even imagine back in the days where I just could, I had, a ch I had a chance to, to confess such sin, such lie, you know, to get the clouds, the ambiguities cle cleared out in front of that friend of mine, or I should say another brother of mine, back in Australia, from another mother, you know. Um, I had a chance, yeah, I, I, I voluntarily chose to ignore the a accusations of my own conscience, you know. So let's just say people have conscience people can harden their hearts uh, and choose not to do some something they should be doing in, but instead they more often than not we or I should say we tend we human beings tend to tend or have the natural the intrinsic disposition to to shift towards um, doing evil instead of doing good, you know. I can show you guys a few biblical verses to prove that we human beings have, have at least, a, you know, have free will to a certain, to a certain extent or degree um, to, to freely choose what, whatever happens 
now whatever happens you know in the next couple of minutes even seconds um yeah so please allow me to do a web search because i don't quite memorize the exact verses very well um yeah let's search first of all free will in uh, king james bible let's see what, what we can find um Actually, yeah, so here we have um, um, Free will where is it? I suppose I I, I can remember it uh, came from some verses of Deuteronomy but um, Where is it? Um, Isaiah not uh, I still kind of well I as far as I can remember it's uh, De Deuteronomy somewhere in De Deuteronomy says we have we will you know maybe chapter 26 or 23 or something maybe chapter 23 let's try and find um, um, actually, um, oh yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 23, allow me to read it aloud, so yeah, K KJV, King James Version, King James Version, yeah. Oh, version, version. I, I, I'm not sure if version sounds British or version sounds British. Excuse me. So yeah, let's read De Deuteronomy, King, um, Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 23. That which is gone out of thy lips, thou shalt keep and perform, even a free will offering, according as thou hast vowed unto the Lord thy God, which thou hast promised with thy mouth yeah we have free will yes but i can't i i at this at this moment at this point i i still can't you know say with such absolute confidence that we have total free will but um this biblical verse should at, at least debunk um should at least suffice to debunk to reprove um or to disprove you know the very first principle of Calvinism yes so that's reason num number one you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, trust in Calvinism but instead you should trust the Bible you know the King James by Bible King J KJV yes God's words yes you should trust fully trust Jesus because G Jesus Christ is the Word of God and he you know the you know the 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 all the texts all the scriptures all the biblical verses the full content of uh, you know king you know pretty yes not pretty much but fully the full kgv by bible the you know the biblical um, scriptures are either in inspired um you know or um directly um directly revealed by the lord almighty jesus christ himself yes um at least you know that's the truths i can i can convey to you in you know as best as i know how yes just like w what i told to that friend of mine while i confessed such lies such deception yes um, that la lasted almost, you know, that lasted nearly ten, 10 years, you know, since we got to know each other. Um, yeah, so I, and then I said, take it or leave it, you know, yeah, or leave it or take it, you know, that, that, that kind of thing, yeah. So, yeah, I, I hope this video can give you guys some, some ideas, you know, about free will, about why you shouldn't you shouldn't trust 
Cal Calvinism or be a Calvinist, be a Calvinist, but instead you should fully trust God's words and that says the King James Bible, KJV, yes, aka you should fully trust the Lord Almighty Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty God, Trinity, I can say, I can also prove to you guys that the, uh, you know, the the concept of Trinity actually exists in King, King James Bible, but, uh, you know, not the exact word of Trinity, but the exact meaning of tr Trinity actually occurs in King James Bible, you know, quite surprising, yeah, in, in uh, you know, in case you ha you happened to to you know to get to have gotten so used to New Age versions of the Bible, yeah, such as such as you you know um, New Living Translations, such as New International Version, you know NLT or NIV or whatnot, etc. So so let's get to it. So please allow me to to conclude this filming session by reading uh, another biblical verse aloud to you. I believe it should be, um, yeah, I should, yeah, here, here it is. It's, the, it's in the first epistle, the first epistle of John, chapter five, verse um, seven, yeah, and uh, it, such verse doesn't, occur at least in the main in the main text in the main um, scripture in new ages ver version of the bible yeah so it's uh, john it's the first epistle of john chapter 5 verse 7 yeah for there are three that bear record in heaven the father the word and the holy ghost and these three are one amen yeah, so that should suffice as evidence sufficiently enough. Yeah, at least for this filming session. So I hope guys, I, I, I hope I have made my points clear. Uh, and uh, I sincerely hope you are having a great day, a good day, a pleasant day, yeah, or a pleasant night. Um, and uh, take care, stay safe, stay put, remain steadfast, and have faith. Um, and cheers. If the Almighty Jesus Christ, the Lord, if the Lord willing, I hope to see you guys next time on YouTube in my next videos. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.